Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. I just wanted to basically clarify a question which I had asked to me many, many times. A question, number one question for pianos. Does every piano sound the same? Of course, every piano, there's a lot of pianos that look the same, but probably they do not sound the same, you know? And there's, there's pianos that look different. It could be the same company, but they don't sound the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a C chord on every single piano that is at in the shop right here. Every single piano, I'm going to play a C chord, and then you get to hear the difference on every single piano, starting with this white one right here. So I'm just going to go by and play a C chord. We got more pianos. I got one more row. One more row. Here's the Hazelton. Baldwin. 
play L. Solmer. Koranik and Bach. <laughs> and last but not least, this Kanabi right over here. Okay, so now you tell me, is every piano the same? The answer is no. The reason of that is because all the pianos right here, they are all, some of them might look the same, some of them are different companies, or as I say, some of them are the same companies, like these three in a row right over here, Mason and Hamlin. Give you a good example. They, um, they're the same models. This one's a little different. This one has a plexiglass. Doesn't make it really different though, but. Mason and Hamlin. Mason and Hamlin. Okay, let's go to the other Mason and Hamlin row. We have a lot of Mason and Hamlins, everybody. Um, here you go. I call this Mason Street because all four of these are Mason and Hamlins. But these two are the same. So here you go. Sorry. Mason and Hamlin. This one needs work, so. Sound like I have to work on that one. Okay, so the reason that they're all different is because even though they may look the same, you could take 10 of them and they're all different. The reason of that is because different technicians worked on them at different time periods. That's why they have a serial number. Every single piano here is basically like a person. So you might have two of the same pianos, that's twins. <laughs> but every single piano is just like a person. Just like when a person actually goes to a piano shop and picks out a piano, they're picking out mostly themselves. What suits themselves? Does this piano match my personality? Does this piano look good for my image? So, you know, somebody by the name of Mary, can own this piano. Somebody by the name of Jake can own that piano. Or how about um how about Colleen? Colleen can own that piano. Or or Wayne can own this piano right over here. <laughs> and right over here, how about Pedro? Can own that piano. Um that bald one right there, somebody by the name of Maria can own that piano. You know, just I give them all names. I give them all names. Even though they say Kawhi on it, this one is basically Gertrude. <laughs> no, no, that, that, that one's Seely. Seely. Um, that one is uh, Miriam. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you Gertrude. You want to see Gertrude? I'll, see I'll show you Gertrude. Oh, right over there. Nope, actually over here. I'll show you G Gertrude, everybody. Gertrude and Edna. There you go. They're both twins. <laughs> so, every time that I have a customer, people always ask me, are all the, do all the pianos sound the same? And that's not the answer. Uh, the answer, or to say, that's, that's a question, but the answer is no. All the pianos do not sound the same. Uh, these two models right over here, Gertrude and Edna, they're both Kanabis. They're both um, four-legged Kanabis, basically. And if I were to play the bass notes... Now on this one... They both sound different. Very, very different. All right, so that's it. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, just wanted to um, basically solve everybody's mystery if a lot of people just, just basically saying, oh, every piano sounds the same. No, it does not sound the same. Every piano is different. And I'm just very happy to actually answer the question that everybody's wondering on their mind. Um, by the way, everybody, congratulate. I sold this piano today, so this piano sold, 
And so let me close it up. There we go. And I sold this piano today. So there's two pianos sold. I wonder what you would name my piano at home. Show me a picture of it. S send me a picture of it. And <laughs> Dwayne Curtis. Yes, yeah, send, send, send me a picture of it, Dwayne. And I, I, could, I, could, I could definitely give you a name for your piano. <laughs> There's, um, gosh, what was that? What was it? There was one piano that I loved in here. Um, and it has such a sweet sound. I'm trying to think of which one it was. So I can show you real quick before my phone goes off. Um, I haven't given it a name yet, though. But um, where is it? Oh, it's this one right here. Mason and Hamlin. That's such a great sound. That and my other favorite piano. Of course, I love this kind of, this Kawaii right over here. I might change her name. I don't know if it's a he or a she, but you know. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. For and I will be in touch with you. I got to charge up my phone because I want to play Clash of Clans and I want to play Royal Clash, all my clashes. Um, I want to play my video games.